Hey guys, it's been a while, right? So I thought I'd show my face again and um, talk about a topic which came up recently. So it's not brand new news, but uh, it is something which is on the top of my shelf from the to-do list. And um, yeah, something I want to explore in the coming months further. So let's jump into it now. Here we have it. It's the personal edition of Inspire. So what's that about? So there's Alter Inspire personal edition from design to manufacturing and one easy to use platform. So if you are new to the channel, Inspire is a um, sort of easy version of the full feature FEM software, which Hyperworks is and which Alter offers to their commercial customers. So Inspire was targeted at a more CAD market uh, rather than the CAE market and Inspire is like a simplified version. So there is Inspire which you can commercially use and then there's Inspire also for academic use but now there's Inspire for personal use and this is free of charge and that makes it pretty much interesting for all the hobbyists out there um, especially the 3D printers. There's a large community about uh, behind 3D printers and um, they can benefit from those features uh, tremendously because um, topology optimization, I'm not sure if there's any good, uh, easy to use, open source alternative out there. So there, is, there are for sure uh, open source alternatives uh, for finite element method and also for topology optimization, but Inspire is pretty, easy to use. So if you balance things out, um, that could be pretty interesting. So let's jump into it. So get access to the Alter Inspire personal edition, specifically designed for non-commercial hobbyist and personal use. This edition comes equipped with features that are perfect for personal projects, academic research, non-profit organizations, and anyone who wants to unleash their creativity with our world-class software. So basically, you get access to OptiStruct server for free. In a way, it's not the full experience, but uh, we will come to the comparison, but it's pretty mind blowing. Um, with Inspire and Show, uh, enjoy a seamless geometry creation, modification, use experience that speed up to creation, optimization, and study of innovative and efficient parts and assemblies. Best of all, Inspire makes it easy to collaborate with others with its unit intuitive interface and easy to use features. All right, so why Alter Inspire? Geometry creation and simplification. So basically you also have a easy to use step reader. Um, something which got on my nerves uh, the last couple of months was design spark mechanical changing to a membership plan to open step files. That was a bummer. And maybe the one, one or the other of you guys uh, also uh, had the problem. So basically you have to pay to open the step file and uh, convert that to a, for example, our stock file to then be able to um, measure things out and stuff like that. So basically with Inspire you have that for free. That one can uh, read step files, open it, measure in the step file, so geometry. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's a, it's not, it's for sure not a full full feature CAD program, but it, it's it's good enough to allow for easy generation of, of uh, structures and also a little bit of uh, NURBS. So yeah, so create, modify and simply five solid models while also creating, uh, crafting free from geometry of poly NURBS and exploring diverse, diverse assembly configurations. Yeah, it's also, you can manage um, assembly structure here it's all, for it's all for free. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, intuitive dynamic motion analysis. This one is also pretty neat uh, because I would say it's an easy multi-body simulator. You can define, for example, motions, you can define joints, you can define all sorts of things which you would require having a software like a motion solve or a the famous Adams uh, simulation software to, yeah, to basically to get loads, for example, over a certain motion. And you get that in Inspire and it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, we have, I think there's some videos on my channel about this too. And I think in the coming uh, days, weeks, months, I will also upload 
examples of this in the personal edition. Okay, so dynamic motion analysis. And cutting edge topology optimization optimization. Yeah, basically this is the optimization solo, which is also used in in the yeah, in it's it's Optistruct. It's used in the full feature hyperwork software and although you cannot really get everything with the parameters, but I mean for a decent normal topology optimization this is more than enough so you have um st stress displacement constraints constraints dynamic loads like acceleration well that translates to a force but yeah you have gravity temperature loading temperature loading even um conditions and there's also i think it's not mentioned here but there's also a fluid fluid simulation so you could also uh, perform simple fluid sol simulation with Inspire. We'll cover that all because yeah, it's pretty interesting. All right, then optimized design for additive manufacturing. That's what I talked about with the three D printing um, hobbyist community. Uh, I think this is a great chance to go in there and to learn Inspire. Le learning Inspire is easy. It's not that difficult. And um, being able to do a topology optimization, take the design and put it on your printer and test it, that's pretty cool. All right, and then comprehensive structural analysis. So you can do linear simulations, static, normal modes, model, uh, yeah, normal modes, and visualize the displacement factor safety, yield percent, tension compression, von Mises stress, and major principal stress. So this is also more or less i would say everything you need as a student of mechanical engineering for example to understand structural mechanics because you can visualize the stresses how they flow how a structure behaves uh, how it moves how it deforms deflects and stuff like that even normal modes for sure there's no random vibration analysis or so something like that something wild but um i mean that you have the ability to calculate eigenfrequencies is pretty Cool, because it's all often overlooked, the subject. Okay, Alta Inspire simplifies simulation, providing fast and accurate results. It enabled a new approach, achieving impressive outcomes in a short time and pushing component design to closer closer to its limits, says Sebastian Meinecke, founder and managing director of Urban Engineering. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I mean, I, I repeat myself, right, but yeah. So how, how does it work? Who is eligible for the Altair Inspire Personal Edition? So interesting, non-commercial use for sure. Hobbyist, all right, personal. Well, I think I also saw something like um, research. So academic research is also possible. So students could also just use those editions. Nonprofit organizations, anyone interested in exploring their creativity using the robust robust software. Now, what features? Um, we check them out in a bit. Then how long does it last? Well, this it's valid for one year, the license, but I think it's renewing. So that means it's basically for free. And yeah, there's the Alter community where you can go through and um, ask questions if you have something or post a comment here. <laughs> I'm happy to help you. And yeah, so let's switch over to the comparison table which is this one so we have a standard ed edition academic edition and personal edition and basically license two we know that permitted usage all right yeah you cannot do commercial stuff with it okay that's all right it's just available on windows which is a bummer of some of my friends because they're having linux systems but yeah virtualization is the go here then cost is free one year automatic license. I'm not sure what, what happens after that one year, if you can renew it, but I think so. Um, yeah, and then basically it's all the same, but the design exploration. So this is not there. Design exploration lets you see the impact of design changes quickly on the result. And um, if you have multiple variables, that can be handy for bigger models. So this is the only thing I see here, which is restricted. All the other things are just in there. So yeah and let me just show you how it looks like well it's basically inspire right you have your geometry tab your sketch tab you can do a sketch for example on the x-plane you can for example do a um square like this 
Um, you can also change unit system. So I'm in the MPA unit system. You cannot see that because my camera is hiding that, but it's behind my camera at the lower right here, MPA system. So that's also pretty cool that you don't make mistakes here. Yeah, then you can geometry extrude. <laughs> always in uh, always um, tempted, tempted to say push pull here because in other softwares it's called that so you can extrude that so as simple as that i can create a simple geometry and then just file export for example file uh save as and now for example i could save this as a step file right so as easy as that and um yeah so this is one thing then you have the structure tab i'm just doing a pretty simple example here so you could take this for fixed to a little force here maybe 1000 newton in the set direction let's flip it all right and then just analyze this run so this is just just one quick run through i'm just not getting why they are having this weird color scheme so I'm not really getting that, but there is an easy fix for that. It's hmm. Just visualization. No, it should be under structural or something like that. Uh, did they switch that? Analyze this fluids. Ah, where's my structural workspace? I'll have to see about this. If this is not possible to change it, I would deinstall it. No, just kidding. Okay, so uh, for example, here, single color. I don't know who uses single color, always rainbow. And yeah, so you can see the displacement, you can animate it, all sorts of things. And also for sure you can optimize it, for example, going for 10%, maximize stiffness, whatever. Let's run that. Yes, I want that as a design space. Yeah, I know I should not oppose um, loads on design space, but just, just as a quick demonstration how this works. And basically, if I open the run folder, yeah just scanning if I see the full output here. Yeah, seems like it. But yeah, also the .fem file, for example. Let me just show, it, show that to you. So this is that. So you have the .fem file, you can scan that. You could also take this then to another version of, of Inspire or Hypermesh even. So that's also possible. And then on the out file, you can see how the solver is behaving. Let's see how many iterations we have reached. But basically for sure you have to check the mesh and stuff like that, but yeah. I mean, just, yeah. Gives you an idea how you can deliver should look like, right? And it gives you the possibility to also just explore it without having the trouble of either getting an academic license and also setting up license issues. And um, nor do you have to worry about that you have to pay it. So this is basically for all. And that's what I'm pretty happy about that um, Alter is going this way of um, opening up because you can be part of um, yeah a group of people pushing this for their own designs. Like if you want to build something on your on your house or some, something like that. Better do a little FE calculation. I mean, it cannot hurt. And if you do a topology optimization, optimization you even may, might um, save some, some material or save some weight or increase the performance of a certain type of, of part. So the, the application modes are quite limitless and that's pretty insane. So um, yeah, if you think you could benefit from that play around with it download this install it run it on a certain uh simulation you would like or just explore it by just going on like i did and create a little something watch the videos on this channel for sure like and subscribe 
And uh, yeah, I would say see you next time. Bye, guys.